Python allows us to add some inline expressions to our regular expressions by using something called verbose regular expressions. These are different from what we've seen so far in two ways. The first is white space and the second is comments are ignored. So for white space that means space, tab, and carriage returns are, are just ignored. If you want to match a space in a verbose regular expression you'll need to escape it by putting a backslash in front of it. And then second of course comments are ignored. Even though they are inside the regex comments which in Python start with a pound sign, are ignored by the compiler. Let's see the previous example written as a verbose regex. Here in, in, uh, in sorry, this is in 7.py, totally wrong place. So the pattern is this, comments totally getting ignored here, and yet they're informative for yourself and other folks that you share your code with. And when you do the search, pattern, the, these comments won't interfere. The fact that it's on many lines is not going to interfere. You're going to get the match that you want, or if it's there and not if it isn't there. And that's, that's really helpful. So let's move on to another real world example. And I believe that is where 8.py will, will come in handy for us. So this will kind of give you a little more concrete example of how powerful regex can be. Let's say we need to be able to parse phone numbers from from the US which are in different formats and standardize all of them in the same format. With the following set of examples you can see how complicated this problem would be. All these here, all these are valid phone numbers and it's quite simple for the human eye to split them into a an area code and then a trunk and then a number and sometimes an extension if that's there. But how do we create a, a regex that knows how to split any of the types above into these three to four groups? Since we want to have our result in groups we first have to compile a pattern. The compile function turns our regex pattern into a regex object which further allows us to use functions such as match and search and this helps from an efficiency point of view. By the way, I, if, you're, if you're in this situation yourself in the real world and you're like, oh my gosh, how do I do phone numbers? You don't actually have to write this yourself. You can go on and just search for phone numbers regex Python or credit card numbers regex Ruby. People have come up with it and put definitely a lot more time and effort than you would care to or is even realistic. And there's no reason to not use, you know, something like this that someone already put out that's already quality. There's been a surprising, well, maybe not surprising, but there's been, a, there's been quite a bit of effort in people sort of discussing and building what they're, what, what we would argue is like a solid regex for phone numbers pattern or a solid regex for credit card numbers pattern. Bank numbers, uh, email addresses, there's like so much out there. I lost my train of thought entirely. Where are we? First we need to match numbers, uh, groups of numbers to be exact. In, in re, the, the regex module, backslash d means any numeric digit and in order to get an exact number of appearances we use a similar syntax to the one we already learned. So backslash d curly brace 3 close curly braces means match exactly three digits. Putting the expression in parentheses is what creates a group. In our case we will need backslash d3 for the area code, same thing for the trunk, and then same thing but for for the, the number. For the optional extension, we don't know how many digits it will contain, so we'll use the asterisk symbol, which means zero or more. So backslash d star will match zero or more digits. For the separators, we'll need some sort of regular expression that can handle dashes, dots, spaces, or any other separator that a user decides to use. 
hence any other character but a digit. Luckily, there's a special symbol in re just for that backslash capital D, which means anything that is not a numeric digit. Backslash capital D is opposite of backslash lowercase d. Also, there might be more than one separator, like such as multiple spaces, so we will need to use the plus character, which is similar to the asterisk, but requires at least one occurrence of the search character. So the plus symbol means one or more. There's just so much that goes into this. I think if I were to if I were to go into any more detail, my eyes would bleed out, your eyes would bleed out. There's there's just so much and and regex is is quite a beast even beyond what we've covered so far. So I think I'll leave you with this and uh, check out 9.py as well if that looks interesting to you. It's kind of more of the same examples. But I think I'll leave this here for now. Uh, I hope that this video has been helpful and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks.